Okay, so a few minutes later, the uh, device restarted, downloaded the latest firmware, and then restarted again, and here we go. It's up and running. It, very easy to use. So these are the 12 circuits I think I connected, um, but it always gives you your total usage. So basically for anything you've got the individual sensor for, you get a specific number for that. Uh, otherwise, uh, the balance is, is you know the rest of what's being used that you don't have a specific sensor on a specific circuit. So uh, let's take a look. The dishwasher is currently running and uh, it's been running actually for about an hour. So yeah, you can see uh, how it's been using the power. Uh, I started it uh, just around, yeah, here we go. 1246-ish, that's when I started it. It used very little power initially. Um, when the heater elements started turning on, it used uh, 900 watts, you can see that. And it's back down, which I guess is for the final rinse, back down to about 33 watts. And if you tap this number top right, that will always take you back to what the current usage is. And uh, it's nice, actually, it's giving me a running total for the month. Obviously, I just installed this today, so... So far this month, it's used 428 uh, watt hours or 0.4 kilowatt hours. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, let's take a look at the upstairs AC. We live in Vegas and have an AC upstairs and an AC downstairs. As uh, showing by the minutes. That was quite interesting if you scroll back. So it's, uh, we have a single stage AC. So it comes on. And then it goes off. So it's running, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine or nine minutes or so per cycle. And then it goes off for, I guess, around the same length of time. And then it comes back on again. So it's using four, kilowatt, uh, four kilowatts when it's running. Um, and it's off right now. I guess it's 273. Okay, yeah, it's off now. Um, it also, by the way, is measuring, go back to that. Um, we've got, uh, as well as the two separate ACs, we also, we've got two separate you know, blower units in the attic. So we can see how much they're consuming as well. So really, the total for the AC units, uh, the blower is using almost 600 watts. So you really need to add that on to the condenser to get, you know, the true, true usage. So this is pretty good. I like it. You can view um, by the second or by the minute, which is pretty uh, useful. So this is giving you a real-time readout in kilowatts. Same with uh, by the minute. Um, but when you switch to hour, day, week, month, or year, it then switches to kilowatt hours. So it's showing you that total uh, consumption. So those are my initial impressions. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I haven't played around with any of the other features. I see it's got notifications. Um, I'll need to take a look at that. Uh, but the charts are cool. And I like that, it, it, I mean, you can turn something on and turn something off and it, it updates within uh, seconds. Actually, I can hear that the downstairs uh, AC just turned on and, and you see it, it sorts this screen automatically. So um, downstairs AC is now near the top of the list because it's on. Um, and yeah, oh, there we go. Right, that's the real-time view, uh, which updates every few seconds. So like any AC unit, a big uh, draw of power uh, in the first few seconds, it slowly uh, will sort of dissipate. Let me take a look at the minute. Yeah, so the minute view the last time it was on, it was using about three and a half kilowatts. Once it had settled down, let's go back here. Yeah, and you can you can see it sort of trending back towards uh, 3.5 or so. Very good. Well, I like it. Nice product, easy to install, lots of data. This is great. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please please click the like button. Um, I really appreciate you subscribing as well. I post 
videos of product reviews like this and uh, DIY projects. Thanks for watching.